Guys, I hope you're ready for another walkthrough. It seems like as I do each of these walkthroughs, we're far enough out on our build list that kind of confuses a lot of people on what they want to do as far as their layouts and stuff. But I still feel like it's beneficial for those of you who are specking camps out and trying to figure out what you want and everything. So we're just going to go through and walk through this one and show you kind of the features that it has, the layout, and I'll give you some of the specs on it. So let's get started. So as we walk up to this one, they kind of added some personal touches here. Most will have kind of either horseshoes, but they did these spikes. Um, I think they turned out super. So, but anyways, we're going to step in here. What do you think of these right off the bat? So those are deer horn bases, antler bases. That's what they wanted for their poles and knobs. So kind of cool, really unique, makes it very unique to the individuals that have this camp. So cool. I'm going to go through this one real quick and just what their colors are so that you can get an idea and it'll help me so that I don't forget. So the flooring in this one is a dockside pier. Kind of cool. Has a lot of character saw marks, things that way in it. And then the wall colors in this one are uh, fawn cypress or the cabinet colors, excuse me. Fawn cypress on the cabinet colors. The countertops are a uh, winter carnival. And then my favorite, this is probably my favorite color that we've done as far as wall colors. This is an antique barrel, but just really cool. Has some markings like an old whiskey barrel really light to where it brings out a lot of the natural lighting in this camp keeps it where it's not so dark even though the lights are all in here they're not doing really anything so but we'll come back here to the front and we'll walk through this one so pretty traditional up front your big closet i don't know if you guys are hearing me so I'll close this door so we don't get all that road noise stainless steel fridge freezer this one is too I should tell you the size of it this is an x27 so 22 foot box so a little bit shorter than our 30 footer um, but this one I don't feel like it lacks anything as as far as space is concerned so your convectional microwave, stainless steel, no gas light in this one, but lots of overhead with tons of counter space. So they have the stainless steel range and then it's got the pull out bar. Put the window above it. banks of drawers some storage and then the recliners which like I say as these colors come together I I often wonder how it's gonna turn out with the color combinations but they all turn out super so I feel like the recliners go super well with the countertops as well as the the walls and kind of tie everything together so lots of windows in this one Lots of natural light. As you can see, this one has the bunk bed. So you've got a pillow top queen down low, and then it's got a pillow top um, twin up top. Lots of space in their bookshelf. It does have the fantastic fan, so you've got your remote for it, as well as your thermostat for your forced air furnace. This one is wired for air conditioning as well. So it's got two spots for a vent. So this one I would set up for air conditioning if they decide down the road that's what they want to do. And 
It's got the 28 inch TV, this 12 volt TV. So no need to run the generator or anything can watch what they want to watch. This one has a toy box style bench. So it feeds all the way through and then false doors on the front. And then it has the high efficiency wood burning stove. Stainless steel double sink. Lots of storage below. This does have the pull out wand as well. Makes it nice for cleaning dishes. And then on to the bathroom. So this one, it's not quite finished. It'll have kind of a metal surround but it has an LED light underneath here that kind of shines down on all of that. It does have your um, AC plug underneath that side, your fresh air vent, frosted window, porcelain toilet, and then that stainless steel glass shower door. Sorry about that, that was my finger. But overall, really love it. Um, love the way that it came together. I do like this length of camp. It's, it's compact enough that I can get it places that I want to go, um, but it, yet it's big enough to accommodate a lot of the nicer features. So anyways, love to hear what your thoughts are on this camp. If you have any questions, if you'd like me to include some other things, um, let me know in the comments. I try to respond as many comments as I can. And it, as always, if you haven't liked, subscribed, please do so. Helps us. Thanks for watching.